and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. And today, I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing with your coins during the Team of the Year promo, guys. Now, you guys are watching this. Team of the Year promo has dropped. Now, hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. Hopefully, you guys are taking part in it. Remember, the Team of the Year promo is a quick hitter promo. It's not a promo, well, in a sense. It's not a promo like Zero Chill or like Halloween or things. It's not one of those where it's like dragged on, extended. It's not based on some kind of like theme. It's just very, it's very simple. You get some of the best people in the league at each position you get them dropped in a bracketed amount of days and then we're done with it it's colorful it's gold it's usually really cool looking now that is pretty much what team of the year consists of do not expect this to be dragged out as soon as the super bowl is ready to go and the super bowl promo is up and ready and the promo pro bowl stuff hopefully it'll be over so you pretty much gotta take advantage of it as you can and that's the end of it team of the year cards typically are pretty relevant the rest of the year though which is always the best part about them you never have to worry about them not being great anymore. You kind of just rock with it for a while. Most of them, right? The higher overall ones you can rock with for most of the year. The lower overall, the 95, 96 area, like those cards won't last the entire year. So it's really based on how you guys take advantage of this, how you power them up, the basis of your team. And guys, before we get into this video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the naughty bell, boys. Come join the family. Hopefully we can hit 20k by the end of February. I'm gonna keep mentioning it till we do. That's our goal. That's our next milestone. And you know what they say, you can speak it into existence. Comment down below what you guys think of the team of the year promo so far. Do you, what is your rating? Do you like it so far? What are you guys doing for coins right now? And if you like this video or you're a supporter of the uh, channel, always make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 250 likes on this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. Now, guys, first things first, right? The first thing you want to be doing here in team of the year, you want to be collecting your free players. Before you spend a single cent, collect your free players. Remember, the worst thing you could do is go buy players first and then collect your free players. Because say this, right? Let's say you go buy X, right? This player, right? At the, the tight end, right? And then you go open up your free pack with your Team of the Week challenge that you saved up all year. Remember, hopefully you guys played all your Team of the Weeks this year. And that does give you a... You can put them all into a set for a Team of the Year player. Now, remember, hopefully, if all goes right for you guys... You open that pack, you pull a banger. Now, what if you buy the tight end, right, with coins for a lot of, a lot of money or a lot of coins? Then you open up the pack and you get that your best card is in that tight end. Now, you got to take both. Now, you got to sell the other one and lose reduction. So, I always recommend you get your free players first. Go play your solos. Go play, get your free set. Go do all that first. Collect everything you can collect first. And then worry about using the auction block for the team of the year. I do not recommend you go straight into the auction block. As well as do not buy day one. They do announce the players. I have announced the players. But do not go ahead and buy day one. If you buy day one, you're going to get screwed on reduction value. Remember that a big portion of what you're going to save on a big portion of having coins is protecting yourself from losing coins. And one of the biggest ways to lose coins is to go in day one of team of the year and buy every card you see. That's just not what you should be doing, in my opinion. Save your coins, buy one or two players. I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter as I, as I go through the stats of all of them. I haven't done that yet. I'll keep you guys updated. You guys can do whatever you need to do. I'll keep you guys what cards I think are better, what cards you should pick up. But at the time being, at this certain point in time, I just don't think it's necessary. I have not picked up any cards for Team of the Year. I'm going to get my coin stack up. I have a lot of cards to sell. I'm gonna sell some cards. I'm gonna start building up my coin stack. And then I'm gonna go over the stats and see what it's worth. Like, what's end game, right? Because we're at a point in Madden where things we have to start focusing on end game stuff. We can't just focus on what's good today. Because if you focus on what's good today, Madden dies for you. I, I speak from experience. Last year, when I made the 10 million coins during Christmas, I came into team of the year i bought every single play my team was like you could have called it the team of the year lineup i could have literally made a video going over the team of the year lineup i bought so many of them i was selling them i was not even using them. i had the kicker i bought the kicker and the punter that's all you need to know about how many coins i was spending on team of the year and then i was loving it things were going good come that next week super bowl promo dropped i wanted the new cards my team started dropping value and if all honors dropped my team started dropping value before you knew it my 10 million coins became like 3 million coins i felt broke even if I sold everything, I couldn't even build a team that was like even close to what I could have bought before. I was upset, and then like Madden kind of died off for me. I still did YouTube because I love doing YouTube, but I couldn't really enjoy myself with my coins anymore, which made me not care about Madden as much, more so just the, the YouTube aspect of it. I'm telling you guys, the way Madden dies for people is if you go into this promo and spend every coin you have. Like you said, evaluate first. Like, let's say the wide receiver, right? Whatever wide receiver you like, whichever one you want. Let's say they have a 92 speed. That is not end game. You can buy, you can play with it, but it's not in game. Do not, do not power it up. Do not, do not do all that because you're gonna waste a lot of coins because a 92 speed receiver maxed up chemdub probably only gets like a 93, 94 speed. So there's receivers who were faster last promo. 
So I just recommend you don't go all in just yet. Wait out. Now, if there's a receiver, let's say there's like a receiver that you want. He has 96 speed. He can be powered up in Kemdrick's almost 99. That's all year. You can work with that. Despite all the other catching and everything, 99 speed is workable. There's a cornerback, 92 speed, 97 man coverage, 97 zone. Great coverage, too slow. Does not have great coverage, you guys. He's going to be too slow. He's 94 speed with a 94 zone, 95 man. Work with that. Powered up and chemed up, 96, 97 speed passively with like 98 man, 98 zone. Work with that. Just make sure you always look at stats first. Like Ken John Madden and Mike Cam's get him up to a end game god type card. If he, if they cannot, do not go ahead and power them up right now because I'm telling you, I mean, if you have plenty of coins, do what you want. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm, this is for the guys who want to save the quick buck. They don't want to waste other coins. I'm telling you, if you go all in and you do exactly what I just said, don't to do, you're going to regret it. Madden died for me last year because of this. I went all in. And then remember, team of the year, I show, I mean, not team of the year, Super Bowl drops like 797 cards. They drop a 99 overall Super Bowl promo card. They drop maybe some, they might drop a Pro Bowl card. We have 98 Super Bowl honor cards. I mean, 98 NFL honor cards, 97 NFL honor cards. We got two types of them there. We're going to get like at least 20 97s in the next like three weeks, as well as maybe a 98 and a 99. So you have to envision that the market's going to be flooded with other things. This is when the market starts to really tank bad. So if you guys aren't prepared for that, you're going to end up screwing up. And my, like I said, recommended coin stack you're going to need for the next month overall is probably 2.5 mil. That, that's as simple as that. If you want to pick up like one, one card from each promo. Now, see, the thing is, if you have one, one million coins, right? You could buy a cheaper team of the year card for like 300k. You could buy like probably one F honors card and maybe a Super Bowl card, depending on how you, you uh, break up your coins, how much coins you make in between. But if you buy if you buy the team of the year cards and then like in two weeks they go down, you probably only get like 700k back, 600k back, and then you can't afford anything. So definitely just wait. Or my best opinion is scout them out, see what you want. Wait till the Super Bowl drops. Super Bowl promo will drop in like 14 days. No, for, from the time of the team of the year dropping, actually, Super Bowl promo will probably drop. I say 10 days. About 10 days, Super Bowl promo will probably be here in about. So you gotta just wait 10 days. 10 days. And, and the, the team of the year cards bracket anyway. So wait 10 days. You just wait those 10 days. You'll be able to easily go ahead and pick up these team of the year cards for super cheap. Last year, again, another mistake I made. I had so many coins. Day one, I bought the kicker for 550. I bought the uh, the tight end, bought George Kittle for 600. I bought these cards for 600, 400, 550. A week later, cards are 350, 450. The highest cards are 500. Todd Gurley and them, doing like 750 now, so 900K. I bought everything way too expensive. I've learned from my own mistakes. Wait, don't buy the initial day. Wait until, I'd say, if you want to really wait, wait until, once Super Bowl drops, see what drops. If enough good banger stuff drops, the cards will go down in value. You'll be able to easily, easily, Take advantage of that. You'll probably save about 100K coins per card on average. So let's say you buy 10 cards. Like you're that rich, you buy 10 cards, you're saving a million coins. It's like that. Well, let's say you buy three cards, you're saving 300K. So what you would have gotten for a million coins before, you're getting for 700K now. So that 300K could be part to your NFL Honors card. Now you do some weekly, do some other stuff, you have enough for an NFL Honors card. You could really maximize the potential of what you're able to do with your coins if you just wait a slight. Patience is the biggest virtue in Madden. I'm telling you, I don't have it. I really don't, but I do have it now. Like I never had it before. Now I'm working on it. My issue this year was that I had a lot more coins that I played Madden from day one all year. So I had a lot more coins that I kind of went in too quickly. And now I'm realizing like for next year, especially build up the coin stack a little bit more. Don't, don't get as much of a guy's score right away. Especially since I do YouTube, I have a lot less time to actually play the game. So I would have been better off saving it until times when I feel a little more free. So it really just depends on you guys. Next year though, I'm probably going to do a lot more starting at the beginning of the year. But back to what I was saying. Again, I will have a market video for you guys probably coming out at some point after this video. I don't know exactly when. But I will be on over a lot of team of the year stuff. And if I don't, I'll have it over on Twitter, a little overview for you guys. So you guys can stay up to date because I will be on vacation at some point during that week, during this week. So hopefully I can still keep updated with you guys. I will have things pre-recorded for you guys. I'm trying my best. Hopefully you guys don't be you guys don't be dumb and you guys maximize your core potential. Don't spend it all now. Cause like I said, we got Super Bowl, NFL honors, Easter, Blockbuster, biggest movers, ultimate draft, ultimate legend. I that I say Easter. Uh maybe golden tickets if we're lucky this year. I'm just, I'm just saying, we got a lot of stuff coming out still, so do not go ahead and blow everything on this one promo. We have plenty of stuff still, guys. Hopefully this helps you guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that on, but boys, come join the family. 20K by February, end of February, that is, of course, not this, not the start of February. End of February, hopefully we can get that. By that time, that's probably like another 100 videos for me to do, but it's so worth it. Now, make sure to comment down below what you guys think of the Team of the Year promo. Give me a rating from 0 to 10 so far, what you think of it, who are your favorite players from it, and make sure to comment down below anything else that you guys need. I'm also over on Twitter. You can always hit me up on Twitter if you guys need any help with anything. I'm always open over there. I try to get some of my responses as quick as possible. But again, I will probably be on vacation, so if I answer slowly, that's exactly why. Now, can we get this video to 300 likes, guys? That'd be greatly appreciated. And as well as, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of the vids. Hopefully, I get enough videos after you guys this week while I'm on vacation. 
try my hardest at this current point in time to get all that done for you guys. Hopefully it goes well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.